All in the game, yo. <laughs> All in the game. Roy Hibbert has become an incredibly potent weapon for the Indiana Pacers. He has always been adept on the block, but increased confidence and a slimmed down physique has enabled him to punish defenders with an array of post moves. As you can see, he utilized his full arsenal on Friday against Houston. Unfortunately, Brad Miller had an even better night on the other end. Here we'll see what we saw all too often out of Roy on Friday. He simply seemed incapable of guarding Brad Miller at the high post or especially in the pick and roll. Brad Miller would either get his shot off or he would just go by him with a simple shot fake. Again, goes back to the pick and roll. Closeout is too slow. Brad exploits him to score easily in the post. Here we'll see Roy just make a mental mistake. He goes to double Shane Batty in the post, even though Danny Grange is right there, leaving Brad Miller with a wide open 18 footer. Even when he wasn't scoring, Brad was wreaking havoc. The double team has to come over, leaving a wide open player. Watch Jared Jeffries down here on the block. He gets the ball. Roy is so caught up with Brad Miller that he can't come over to provide any help. Jeffries gets to the line. It's not that Roy Hibbert's a bad defender. Just look at his block totals, you know he can alter some shots. Watch the video here, it's also plainly obvious. But as you'll notice, this is generally when he's guarding a more traditional big man. Against guys like Miller, he's out of sorts. He doesn't have the speed to close out on the jumper or stay with him on the drive, and away from the paint, he becomes uncomfortable. This is due in part because of his foot speed. As we'll see from Josh McRoberts, who tries his hand at here, Brad Miller here, foot speed isn't everything. Josh shows us that foot speed and athleticism do help in trying to cover so much ground though, properly closing out and then retreating to draw the charge on Brad. Tyler has a couple better possessions as well. Here he stops the ball handler, gets back, Brad can't even think about taking a shot. In the fourth quarter, the abuse continued. This is a tough one for Roy. Darren Carlson does not make a good effort. But again, it leads to a Brad Miller three. Here, poor pick and roll defense leads to Brad Miller to have the choice of a wide open three or a nice little pass interior. Danny fortunately saves the day. The result was Coach O'Brien going to Josh McRoberts down the stretch on Brad Miller. Here, better help side defense on the pick and roll. Leads to Brad Miller getting the ball in the paint. Danny recovers. They call a foul. Not optimal defense either, but an improvement on what we saw from Roy. And here we see Josh almost forcing the steal from Brad Miller with active hands. It was on the Pacers' final defensive possession of the game, however, that Coach O'Brien's decision to stick with Josh on Brad Miller would really pay off. Josh uses his athleticism to get well above the three-point arc and cut off the ball handler. Giving the defender time to get back, Lowry dribbles out to the left, forces a really bad shot. Unfortunately for the Pacers, Mike Dunleavy would get the rebound, fail to call a timeout before he dribbled, and the Pacers would get no good look at the hoop, losing the game by three. So while Josh's defense down the stretch was an improvement, it was Brad Miller that had the last laugh.